Utah is a great state for outdoor recreation, with amazing ski resorts, natural wonders, incredible national and state parks. The best way to see is by road, and scenic drives can be found all over the state. It's a popular state for tourists because of its natural beauty, five national parks, and 43 state parks. It also has vast areas of stunning wilderness. Famous for its snow, but visitors can also enjoy scenic views, outdoor recreation. Salt Lake City is a great place to visit for cultural attractions and nearby skiing. Mob or St. George are great places for outdoor adventures such as hiking, mountain biking, camping, off-road pursuits, and even ATV motorcycle riding. It can be hot and sunny in certain areas, while it snows in others. The perfect location means it offers the best of the Rocky Mountains and desserts. Here's a list of Utah's top tourist attractions. If you like our content, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for our next videos. Springdale. It's a small town in the southwest near Zion National Parks, soaring sandstone hills. This is one of the most beautiful spots you can imagine. Springdale has a charming downtown and spectacular outdoor landscapes. Downtown Springdale is small but has lots to offer. There are many shops, art galleries, and theaters along its main drag. Although it's a single street, the downtown district has many cafes and great restaurants. This small community is a great place to explore Utah's amazing natural attractions. The beautiful Gooseberry Mesa is a half-hour drive southwest of Springdale, and it's one of the best places to cycle in the area. The Virgin River flows along with Springdale, and through Zion National Park, it is a fast-flowing river. The small settlement of Grafton is located 15 minutes from Springdale southwest. It is one of the most well-known ghost towns in America. It was abandoned long ago and is now a popular tourist attraction that draws thousands of visitors each year. It's worth visiting for its amazing natural wonders and the wealth of outdoor activities. Penguich. Despite its small size, Penguich is a popular spot to visit because of the stunning scenery and natural attractions. The original settlement was established in 1864. Today, this former lumber and ranching community caters to tourists through several motels and shops located in the downtown area. The historic heart is its charming downtown and it is home to beautiful brick buildings that reflect the pioneering past. These historic homes are not only beautiful in architecture, but also host local shops and cozy motels. While downtown is a peaceful and charming place, most of the year it is often crowded with tourists who use it as a base to explore the nearby sites. It is located within the Grand Circle, a loop of some of the most amazing national parks in the Southwest. Provo. It's the third largest city in Utah, located just 40 minutes from Salt Lake City, along with the large Utah Lake. It's one of the most conservative cities in the country and serves as a base to visit the nearby nature sites and national parks. It is home to Brigham Young University and the Monty L. Bean Life Science Museum. The BYU Museum of Paleontology has a collection of fossils from dinosaurs. A modern venue, the BYU Museum of Art has a large permanent collection of paintings. There are many interesting historical sites and temples related to the church and pioneers. Fort Utah was founded in 1849 and is the capital of the Mormon Church. From Provo, you can visit the Timpanogos Cave System, Bridal Veil Falls, and Ewan to Wasatch Cache National Forest. All of these places offer stunning views and great outdoor activities. St. George City 
Located in southern Utah near many amazing parks, making it an ideal place to base yourself if you're interested in outdoor activities. Even if you aren't interested in outdoor activities, St. George has many attractions worth a visit. The sun-kissed St. George is tucked away in a picturesque and private valley in southwest of Texas. Zion National Park can be reached in just one hour, while Snow Canyon State Park is one of Utah's most undiscovered natural areas, only 20 minutes away. You can find beautiful camping areas and outstanding hiking trails within a half hour of St. George. The city makes a great base for exploring the surrounding landscapes ranging from canyons and deserts to mountains and lakes. Boating, camping, rock climbing, and ATV riding are popular activities. The stunning scenery is undoubtedly the main attraction, but St. George also has an expanding arts and culture scene. There are many shops and restaurants to explore and interesting historical sites scattered around. Mobe. The tiny town of Moab is an ideal destination for outdoor adventurers. It's surrounded by breathtaking landscapes that beg to be explored. It is located in canyon country to the east of Utah, in a dry and barren area, close to Canyonlands and Arches National Parks. Moab is the best place to go for outdoor adventures in the southwest. There are so many outdoor adventures, including beautiful mesas, stunning butts, and the elegant arches. The center of Moab is now filled with restaurants, shops, hotels, and tour agencies. You can arrange river rafting down the Colorado River from here, or off-road between its vast mesas and elegant arches. Just outside Moab is Arches National Park, well known for its mountain biking and outdoor adventurers. Its elevation is higher than the town and can be reached via a winding road that offers spectacular views. You can also enjoy rock climbing, mountain biking, and hiking in the stunning scenery. Rafting down the Colorado River on a raft is a thrilling and memorable way to see Moab's beautiful surroundings. Park City home to some of the America's best-known ski resorts. The mountain resort, the Deer Valley Resort and Canyons Village offer stunning views with several ski slopes. It is located in the Wasatch Mountains, just 40 minutes from Salt Lake City. It was once a boom and bust mining town, now transformed into a world-class resort mountain. The 2002 Winter Olympic Games were held here, now a popular vacation destination because of its stunning resorts spread across the mountains. Park City Mountain Resort is a must-see when you're in town, offering more than 330 runs to be shot down from 17 different mountain peaks. Deer Valley Resort is known for its luxurious amenities and atmosphere. This charming resort is consistently ranked as one of the top ski resorts in America. However, you can also enjoy hiking and mountain biking in the summer. Park City is known for its outdoor activities, but also has a main street full of shops and restaurants. Each year, the Sundance Film Festival is held in Park City. Salt Lake City It's the capital and largest city of Utah, boasting a wide range of attractions, including historical and cultural sites with stunning nature and outdoor recreation opportunities. It is located between the Great Salt Lake and the Wasatch Mountains, offering something for everyone. Also well known for its location as the Mormon Church's headquarters. However, the main tourist attraction here is Temple Square at the center. You will find beautiful architecture, historic buildings, monuments, and a museum about the Mormons. Temple Square is an iconic landmark, a late 19th century temple with the largest Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You can visit its temple, tabernacle, and striking state capitol building. The Natural History Museum of Utah in downtown is a must-see and is one of the most popular attractions. 
Salt Lake City is associated with winter sports and skiing. Many of the top ski resorts in Utah can be reached within one hour. A tour is incomplete without a visit to the Great Salt Lake, and this natural body of water gave the city its name. Bryce Canyon National Park The park is located in the southwest Utah. It features an array of natural wonders, nestled alongside the Ponsagunt Plateau. The park offers stunning views and is open to all visitors. You will be able to see hundreds of hoodies and red rock landscapes from the bird's eye view. Mormon pioneers first settled in Bryce Canyon in the middle of the 20th century and later it became a national monument and a park. The park offers 13 views to admire the theaters and the various hiking trails. Inspiration Point offers spectacular sunrises and sunsets, a must-see sunset point, which features the famous Thor's Hammer, and the beginning of the Navajo Loop Trail offers spectacular views of the park's main amphitheater. To see Sunrise Point, start on Queen's Garden Trail, once the sun has set, you can continue on other several trails. If you are not in mood of hiking, then the Bryce Canyon Scenic Drive is a great way to get to explore or just escape the heat. Arches National Park This park is known for its stunning stone arches and rolling petrified sand dunes. The snow-capped Les Salle Mountains surround it and National Park contains more than 2,000 natural stone arches. While there may be larger and wider arches, however, Delicate Arch is the most famous, one of Utah's most iconic spot. It stands alone, unlike other arches in the park, at 52 feet tall and acts as a small archway in the middle of the aisle. The arches are complemented by towering spires, fins, and balanced rocks creating an amazing scene. A unique environment of colors, landforms, and textures highlights the park's extraordinary features. The Devil's Garden Trailhead opens up a variety of beautiful hiking trails to enjoy. You can start the Devil's Garden Primitive Loop, a 7.2-mile trail that includes eight of the most beautiful arches in the park. Zion National Park. The park is less than three hours from Las Vegas and features some of Utah's most stunning scenery. The main attractions include red rock cliffs, waterfalls, and stunning views. Few national parks can compare to Zion National Park. The park is located in southern Utah near Springdale, and it protects an impressive series of rock formations and high sandstone cliffs. This makes it a popular spot for hiking, backpacking, and canyoning. The Zion Mount Carmel Highway runs east-west through the park and is a must-do. The self-drive route is high above the valley and provides breathtaking views from the lookouts. Visitors need to look down from the canyon rim, walk on the canyon floor, and then look up. The park is well known for its stunning monoliths and cliffs and it also has a desert landscape with sandstone canyons and mesas. Also called Vertical Park because its sheer vertical walls make it a paradise for hikers. If you like our content, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for our next videos.